Hi there, Roy Stone here with Jamstone Magic, and I'd like to take just a second to share with you one of our newer products. It's called the Miss May Dinosaur. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I was obsessed with dinosaurs. I loved them so much, and I thought that one day I'd love to be a paleontologist, to go around digging up dinosaur bones. I could find fossils of mastodons, and I could find fossils uh, uh, of the triceratops, but most of all, I can find the most amazing dinosaur, the T-Rex with all the sharp teeth and, and the little bitty hands. How cool would that be? Now, you know probably that di the dinosaur bones are very rare and they're hard to find and that you don't sometimes always find all of the dinosaur in one piece. Sometimes you might find the feet, sometimes you might find almost the whole dinosaur, but it's very rare to find the head, the skull, the arms, the feet, everything together. Now, as you dig up dinosaur bones, you have to look at them and try to figure out what kind of dinosaur it is. Maybe it's the T-Rex, but then again, maybe it's something like, uh, like I don't know, a, a velociraptor. Dinosaurs are, are hard to figure out, you see. So when you find the feet and you don't have a head, and maybe you find the ribs and the little, the little hands, but you still don't find the head, Sometimes, because they're not always found together because of the floods or the, the, the asteroid or whatever may have killed the dinosaur, sometimes it's hard to find them all together. And sometimes paleontologists find parts of the dinosaur, but they never find... Wait a minute. Well, that was an acrobatosaurus. He's standing on his head. Look at that. But sometimes they don't find all the parts together and they have to make multiple searches and multiple finds to find that here. Sometimes you might end up with dinosaur skeletons that don't even have a head at all. Sometimes the head's totally gone. Matter of fact, there is one dinosaur that a lot of us grew up believing in that had the wrong head all the time because they found the different parts at different sites and they found a head and went, oh, this looks like the head to that dinosaur. And when they put it together, they ended up with what we called the brontosaurus. And the brontosaurus ended up being the wrong head on the wrong skeleton. And it wasn't even a dinosaur that really exists. You see, dinosaurs and their fossils are really hard to find. But when you do and you get them all together and you get them right, man, you've got an awesome find. You've actually got a real dinosaur. Well, part of a dinosaur. You don't have the whole thing, but wouldn't it be cool if you did happen to have a dinosaur, an honest to goodness real dinosaur? Man, how cool would that be? You know what you could do if you happen to have a dinosaur? If you happen to have a dinosaur, why you could use him to get kittens out of a tree. You could use him to, to clean the roof and the gutters on your house. Well, if he was a plant-eating dinosaur, you could use him to mow the lawn. There's all kinds of things you could do if you happen to have a dinosaur. Hey, if you want a dinosaur of your very own, check us out, jamstonemagic.com, or find us on Facebook to order your own.